Within the shimmering waters of the Caribbean lies an ecosystem responsible for supporting countless organisms that call it home. This ecosystem provides foraging grounds, protection, and most importantly, nursery habitat for juvenile fish. Within the ecosystem, there exists a delicate balance between the seagrass species and the organisms that depend on it. But there's a species of seagrass that is new to the Caribbean. Originating in the Red Sea, Halophila sipilisi has traversed the Atlantic and established itself in many foreign waters. Finding its way in Grenada in 2002, it has now spread to 19 islands in the Caribbean. The impacts of Halophila's invasion are largely unknown. What we do know is that it can rapidly colonize the sea floor, effectively overtaking native species of seagrass. How marine organisms will respond to this invasion is of particular concern. Researchers at the University of the Virgin Islands have taken it upon themselves to investigate. Halophila stipulase is an invasive seagrass species out here in the Caribbean and especially here in St. Thomas. So we were really curious about how the local juvenile fish use that seagrass compared to the native seagrasses. So what we did is we took one of these fish traps and we placed it into each of the seagrass patches and a sand patch. We looked at three different bays on the south side of St. Thomas, Brat Bay, Lingberg, and Frenchman Bay. Oh, yeah. We got a fish! We got two fish! Once we pulled them, we emptied them out into a bucket of water. We took the fish individually, placed them out on a tray, measured them, took pictures of them, and tried to identify them by species if, or by family if we can. We got some pretty interesting results. Back in the lab, the statistics team analyzed the data, and this is what they found. We found that there was more community diversity within the native seagrasses versus the invasive. So there were more different types of fish within Thalassia and Serangodium versus Halophilus Cipulaceae. Interestingly, though, there were higher abundances of fish within the invasive seagrass. And actually most of those fish were nocturnal carnivores, so snappers and grunts. So overall, what is happening is Halophila stipulaceae is coming in and is taking over our environment. What this means for broader impact is that we're gonna end up having lower species diversity and the species that do live in this environment are gonna use their environment differently. Thanks to the study conducted at UVI, we see that Halophila alters native fish communities. As in the case of many invasive species, management can be very challenging. Continued monitoring and more research may answer questions about what to expect. In the meantime, we can slow the continued spread through awareness and conscious boating practices. Just remember... Spread the word. 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 Not Halafala. No Halafala. Not Halafala. Spread the word. 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 Not Halafala.